So the first step that we're going to do, um, assuming that we've already gone through and made sure our foot strikes are okay, we have, we're going to activate our human gate table, uh, put the boxes down on the foot strikes. Uh, we're going to again quickly just make sure everything looks good. And we want to make sure no bad foot strikes have been included. And everything looks good there. So we'll go back to the beginning. So automatically, once you've applied that this once you hit this uh, human tables uh, icon the boxes will be placed and the gate tables will automatically populate come up um, the first one is the gate table you'll have the number of strikes that are uh, included in your recording in this case for five passes we had 20 foot strikes our cadence our gate time the gate distance essentially how much distance they covered and during the time that they were on our on on the stride way uh, the gate velocity, and then if you have um, measured the leg lengths of, uh, of your subjects, which uh, if we go back into the patient database, you can add those measurements here. So you have your left leg and your right leg measurements along with the body weight. If you've filled these, um, these uh, boxes in with the measurements and then hit OK, you will get a value uh, in, in this box. If you did not fill that in, you'll get an NA here. So you won't have any information that should populate there. Uh, our step stride table. So again, we're looking at step time, step length, step velocity, and then everything is, is this is our, our, is our average for the left foot and then average for the right foot. And then this is just the difference between uh, uh, the, the right versus the left. Okay, so it's a negative because the uh, it's right, the right side minus the left side. Uh, in this case, it's a difference because uh, a positive difference because the right side is larger than the left. So the, the, the RL difference calculation is always right side versus the left. Um, again, I'll show you the maximum force is down here. Uh, this is as a percentage of body weight. So in order to get that calculation, you do have to have the body weight uh, inserted into the box here. Otherwise, you will not get a value in, in that box. That force time integral is a percentage of body weight again. And then we've got our foot angle. So uh, the, the degrees at which the foot, this, this angle here of the foot versus the angle of the left foot. So there's a 4% a angle and 8% angle, uh, degree angle, pardon me. We've got our gait cycle table, uh, stance time, swing time. Again, these are all averages and this is uh, in seconds. So you can see our, our units of measure. And then the different phases of the gait cycle. So we got our single support time, initial double support, our foot flat time, uh, active propulsion time, passive propulsive time. We also have the differential table. So for, for basically this calculation that you have here, we put that into one table here as well. If you'd rather, instead of looking at the actual raw numbers, you just want to see what is the difference between the left and the right, you can look at that right here. Keep in mind again that it's always the right side minus the left. So any negative uh, a number would mean that the right side is, is smaller um, and any positive would mean that the right side is bigger than the left. The final table is our symmetry table. So it's basically doing a calculation of the difference between the left and the right, where 100 would be perfect asymmetry, and anything smaller, as you get smaller and smaller, than, uh, than from a hunt further and further away from 100, you are getting more asymmetry uh, between uh, these these variables. Uh, you can remove some of these these um, parameters in the tables if you don't want to see them there. So you can just simply go and do a right click select table rows and then you can choose certain uh, parameters that aren't of interest to you and just choose to remove them and then they'll they'll only show up the ones that you've actually selected um, in in your in your view so those that can be helpful at times if you find that this there's just way too much information here and you just want to look at specific things in the gate cycle table so this is this basically takes care of our spatial uh, temporal information 
that you get with the uh, Strideway. Now, if you want to look at the exact definitions of how these uh, parameters are calculated, I would point you towards the help file and you, it will have uh, all the definitions in there that you can then uh, go and take a look at. That will give you all the definitions of how those are calculated. Now I wanted to get into the other uh, type of data you can get from here, uh, which is the force data. So if we go and do a right click here and go down and click on graph strikes, you'll now see force time curves uh, created. Again, red is associated to the right foot, green is associated to the left. And this is going to show data for every foot strike that that hits the mat uh, during the five passes. Now, uh, an easier way to look at some of this data, rather than looking at each individual foot strike and comparing each individual foot strike, is that the ability to average the, the data. So we can then go up onto our we're in right now we're in our peak mode, peak stance mode. So it's showing you the peaks of each foot strike. But if we go in hit our average peak you'll see that the, uh, the software will take all of the passes. So here you have the choice of selecting only certain passes that you want included in your data, or you can select them all. We'll say, okay. Now you'll see, you will have one foot, uh, one pressure profile for the left, one pressure profile for the right. And we'll also have one uh, force curve for the left and one force curve for the right. And this would be the average of the of all the total of 20 foot strikes that we had there. This makes it a little bit easier to now look at the force time curves and look at what kind of differences there are in the, uh, the heel pivot phase, the mid stance phase, and then our uh, active propulsion phase here. So uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to really understand what where the where the asymmetries are. One uh, last thing I wanted to share before we move on to the next um, is our templating feature. So this is essentially showing you total force right now. Uh, if you're interested in really understanding what's happening at the different phases of the gates and you want to really break the foot down into a couple of uh, into um, different uh, templates, uh, we have one that you can uh, use right off the bat. And this, if you just go in and do a right click on your window, we can convert the strike boxes to templates. And you'll see, we'll probably lose this and we'll have to bring it back up again in a second. But now you can see that rather than having a box around the, the foot strike, it actually has the form of the foot. And then we've got a box here for the heel and then a box here for the metatarsal heads. And then of course we still have the one around the total foot. We can go and do an average for this. And then let's go and graph our strikes here. And what you'll see here is, as it's loading, again, we'll just get the average force versus time curves, um, except now we'll have it broken down into the the template that was uh, created over top of the feet. So we'll have a heel component and we'll have a four foot component uh, curve that we'll be able to look at as well. So you can see here our, our light green, again, is associated with our left foot and that's a total curve. The dark red that you're seeing or the red that you're seeing here is again, total curve for the right foot. And then we've got our our green, which is our uh, this different shade of green, which is for again for our left. Uh, this is our left heel curve. So the box that was uh, boxing out the heel, and then the dark red that you're seeing there. Now you are able to compare the right and the left foot directly for the heel pivot uh, component of the stance phase. And then on this side here, we can see this curve here is our left uh, forefoot curve. It's the shade of blue. And then this pink or fuchsia that we, we have there is, is our right foot. So that again, we can look at the differences uh, more, much more in depth in terms of what portion of the, of the gait cycle or how, how much asymmetry there are between those two uh, curves for the left and the right foot.